another episode of Spill the Beans. Yes. Ah, uh, grabe. Uh, sunod-sunod talaga ang ating mga episodes ngayon. Ang dami nating guests, busy-busy na tayo. Sobra. Dahil natapos na ang Trust Your Journey, ngayon naman Spill the Beans na. Good. We have a special guest, but Tim, since we are going to discuss today uh, the opportunities sa business process outsourcing, or sa call center industry, uh, if this is something that is viable for the millennials or the Gen Z, the young ones, the old ones, kung sino mang gusto mag-apply, uh, we invited someone very special to shed some light on the uh, questions that are lingering kung pwede ba sa inyo itong call center job. So here is Tim Lemuanco. Hello, memory keepers. I'm Tim Lemuanco. Uh, I'm one of the site directors in Shore Solutions. Uh, been in the big film industry for 18 years now. Wow, wow. 18 years, yes. no? Kung magre sa bata, pa college na yan. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, so 18 years. And you are a site director. Ano ba yung site director? Um, Nagmamanage ng site. <laughs> Nagmamanage ng site. So technically, you... are basically responsible for, you know, the, the Philippine site. Wow. Uh, so wow, so it's like a country manager. Uh, in a way, but wow. more ah. bigot. Yan, yan. Ang bigat mo, Tim. Hindi mo, eh, eh, mo naman sinabi sa akin, hindi pa ako nagla-lunch eh. <laughs> <laughs> Sana naman, hindi ko naman alam country manager ka na. Napaka-surprising <laughs> naman nito. May restaurant dyan sa labas. No? Parang pizza ata. Yung, uh, pwede pang country manager yung mga prices doon. Eh, no? uh, okay. So, uh, uh, pag natapos na itong podcast, uh, <laughs> diretso na tayo, tayo, tayo doon, Tim. Ah. Uh, Alright, let's get started. Okay, let's go. Right. Let's go. So, ako, aminin ko na nga. Okay. See, I think mga 21, 22 ako nung uh, <laughs> nag-start ako. Ayun ni Tim. Ayun ni... Huwag mo sabihin! <laughs> Ayun okay. ko naman. Okay. 21, 22 at that time. And which was mga early 2000. No? Yeah. So, how many years na since then? 18 years ka na? Yeah, 18 years. In the industry. 18 years. Ang laki, wow. na, ang laki na sweldo na ito. Naging yes. teenager. <laughs> Kung may anak ka, teenager na siya ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga. Marami tayong ano, friends na doon na talaga umidad, no? doon na yeah. nagkapamilya. And honestly, okay naman kasi yung pay. Yeah. No? May I just ask, how much ba? The, the reason I, I worked in the call center at that time was, ang ganda ng ano, very competitive ang pay niya. Totoo naman. Especially for startup. I remember no next start pa lang, uh, I was uh, earning 13,000. Naalala ko yan. With, with night differential. Uh, <laughs> 20% night diff. Oh, Papalo ka ng mga 15 minsan. And during that time, it's ano na, it's a really good salary to start. Oo, oh, oh, yeah. wala kang makukuha ng 15,000 na sweldo noon, tas fresh grad ka mm. at that time. Kasi very limited pa at that time yung mga uh, companies that were around. So, andyan yung e-telecare, andyan yung Sykes, yeah. ano pa may iba noon? And then, uh, Ambergris Solutions, which is now TELUS. Ah! Mm-hmm. Okay, it's PLDT meron din, di ba, at that time? PLDT, yeah. Oo. Oh, so, uh, if, if for those, uh, for our subscribers that really have no idea what, uh, working in the call center feels like. Siguro one way that I would describe it, it's, it's, it may sound corny, pero it's a totally different world. Disconnected ka from people who work the regular hours. Would you, that's how I felt. Be, because at, at that time, coming in at 11 p.m., going home at around 7 or 8, mm-hmm. you start to uh, it's it's really a community already. You start to build your own own group of friends. Yeah. Yung medyo yung mga friends mo nagising at during the daytime hindi mo na nakakausap <laughs> kasi iba kayo na oras eh. It's yeah. like living in another country. Pero <laughs> pero you're in Manila. It's like so, people living in the south, people living in the north. Oh, so iba iba talaga. And that's one thing that I experienced at that time. One thing I liked about the call center uh, at that time it felt like school. Oh, yeah. It felt, because it was also very, since, I don't know, baka kasi it was my first job. Yeah. Uh, I felt like I was really learning something every day. 
And honestly, the things I've learned in, in the call center, I apply it to uh, our own business now. Like, bawal magboss, di ba? Yeah. Walang, walang sir, walang sir, sir doon eh. Yeah, totoo. Oo, oh, 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 kailangan may call name. Mm-hmm. So, para, it, and it worked. And it worked. I felt like I was part of the team. Ganun pa rin ba ngayon? Uh, Oo. Oh, pero, you know, you can't, sometimes, you, hindi mo rin matalis sa Filipinos to Mm-mm. address you as sir or address you as boss. Uh, but you keep telling them, just call me by my name. Oh, uh, first name. Pwede naman na. Oh, very Western ang atmosphere, ang, ang work environment, no? Mm. Yeah, individuals. So, so basically, the culture automatically is passed on to the incoming uh, new pool of talents. Yeah. But which one do you like more? The, the talent back in our day or the talent that's currently available now? Uh, Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, back then, mm-hmm. uh, it's hard to compete. Because uh, you're competing with, you know, the best of the best. Uh, and, you know, during that time, I can't say I was the best at already. Mm-hmm. Uh, lang ako eh, and I'm Uh-oh. really acquiring a lot of knowledge. And that's why uh, I can say, you know, the team leaders uh, back then are really beneficial because you look up to them. Mm-hmm. Um, you try to learn everything that you can through the coaching sessions that they give you. Let me slow you down yeah. a bit. Kasi yung mga ibang hindi taga call center or never had an experience, ano ba yung mga coaching session? Because uh, Lester here would would uh, would uh, also say that some of that, uh, some of the things I learned in, in the call center, I applied to business. Kaya yung sinasabi mo, may coaching sessions. Ano ba yung mga, co- what, what does that mean when you have a coaching session? It's really, uh, call it a, a one-on-one. Or, you know, it's a feedback session. Yon, feedback yeah. session, no? Uh, basically, during that feedback session, it's more of really trying to, you know, give you feedback of, your, let's say, your previous call Uh-oh. or your previous week's performance. You know, okay. what were the highlights of last week? Uh-huh. Uh, what are the things that we need to improve on for this week? Alam mo, grabe talaga call center. It really makes men out of boys. No? Oh, yeah. Kasi the, the challenge alone of working a, a different hour, uh, the challenge alone of, of having to deal with different personalities, not just on the floor, but also if you're incoming calls, inbound, no? mm-hmm. and also outgoing, and done, eh? you, you, you have to be able to relate to everyone. Uh-huh. May, may question ako, andyan pa ba si call master? <laughs> ano yung call master? Ay, yung call master kasi. <laughs> Iba na ngayon. Ah, wala, wala. Nung panahon ko, yung call master. Pagpasok mo, tama talaga yung tawag sa kanya, call master. Kasi pagpasok mo, sa usual company, may, ano ba, ano yung time in mo, time out? Uh, bandy clock. Di ba? Sa, sa construction, bandy hmm. clock. Sa ibang uh, blue-collar jobs yan talaga. May hawak ang card, i-time stamp mo. Di ba? Tapos tutunog yun. Noong time namin sa call center, pag upo mo sa table, may contraption dyan, parang lumang, uh, parang ganito, parang audio, ano bang tawag dito sa ating L12? Mixer. Parang oh. mixer, parang lumang, vid, ano ba yun sa recording sa phone dat? Ah, parang lumang answering machine. Ah, Oo. Mm-hmm. Tapos na, pag, na, pag upo mo doon, yan na yung boss mo. Kasi magta-time in ka doon. <laughs> pag, uh-huh. pag time in mo doon, siya magsasabi kung kailan ka mag-break, kailan ka magla-lunch, <laughs> kung tatawagin ka for coaching. So, call master siya, ta- uh-huh. <laughs> call master siya talaga. Uh-huh. So, my question is, does it still exist, the call master? No. Uh, I guess technology has changed a lot. Mm-hmm. You know? um, iba na eh. Um, Like, even yung ta- pagta-time in mo, there's this mm-hmm. whole new system that, you know, once you get into the floor, you log in through, you know, either the company-sponsored interface or it's a different type of type of tool that they log in. Okay. So, I, I get it. It's, it's, uh, it's an interface. It's a program. But does it still require a, a person in front of it to input? Yeah. Meron pa rin. Meron pa rin. Oh. Ah, okay. So for the for for the memory keepers, for the subscribers, uh, for you guys who are considering ano ba viable batong uh, viable batong call center, uh, pagpasok nyo hindi ka agad agad. Uh, let's say starting na kayo day one na, uh, hindi ka agad agad tao ka usap nyo. 
no? Si Ver, tama ba? Please correct me if I'm uh, wrong. No. So, when you step in, uh, definitely may training. Uh-oh. Um, okay. Usually, it's either a month of training, product-specific training. Uh-oh. Um, and then there's also culture and geography training. Uh, why, why do you have to teach that? Why do you have to teach geography and culture of the U.S.? Uh, one is for them to be relatable to their customers. Do, they, do the callers, do they know that uh, the agents are offshore-based? Uh, really varies uh, with that company because some are, you know, would want the location to be kept anonymous or uh, kept secret. But there are some that, you know, really know that we're based in Manila, uh, uh, that people in, the, in Manila are the ones actually answering the phone calls for them. Okay. Marami, may bumabagsak po ba sa geography and culture? <laughs> Wala naman. Wala naman. <laughs> okay lang, Dave. Huwag mo nalang magitin yung name. <laughs> Meron bang bumabagsak sa geography at culture? Wala. Wala. Wala naman. Wala naman. Mm-hmm. So, all, you know, usually the modules are really kept light, easy to absorb. Akala ko special ako, ang taas ng grade ko eh. Lahat pala siguro mamataas. <laughs> Lahat pala. <laughs> Lahat pala. Akala ko special ka. <laughs> Akala ko special ako eh. So once you apply, uh, you have that training, geography and culture. Do you go now straight to uh, product specific? Yeah, product specific training next. Quick question, do you get to choose the program or no choice ang mga nag apply Sometimes, um... Recruitment will definitely play a big factor uh, based out of, you know, your character, ah, your experience. I understand. Uh, nila kung, you know, you're fit for which program. If you're ah, fit for a sales campaign, a tech support campaign, or a customer care all campaign. All right. So, sa recruitment pa lang, just in the gr- recruitment alone, it's already uh, product-specific hiring. If it's it has to do with a lot of numbers, you get people who are more oriented with with that kind of work. Yeah, it's uh, targeted. Uh, targeted na siya. Okay, so you do American geo American na but he's like you know Okay, so you do American geography and culture, product specific, and then ano sa isasalang ka na ba don? Do you go straight to uh, do you go on the floor? You already work. May tinatawag din na you know OJT. Parang, wow, may know, OJT pa ngayon? Parang, you know, they'll start letting you go on the phones or do some chat, pero limited yung volume na pumapasok sa'yo. Meaning, limit, limited yung number of customers na pumapasok sa'yo. Uh, I remember, ginawa ko nga yan. Parang shadowing, no? Yeah, you do shadowing. It's oh, part oh. of the, you know, the training, ano rin, uh, outline or agenda. Okay. Before na ikaw na mismo mag-isa, mag-calls. Ano bang favorite mo, Tim? Anong fa- what's, you've been there for some time. What's kept you in the BPO or in the call center industry? I guess one is... Compensation. You know, uh, compensation is definitely one. Mm-hmm. Um, second would be young personal and professional growth. You know, that's one thing I really like about the call center. Uh, yung problem-solving skills mo. It mm-hmm. really gets uh, sharpened. Uh, Yung, yung the way you conduct yourself and, and your composure, yeah. uh, it, it really becomes more developed. Yeah. So on the personal side, di ba? Kung may problema sa bahay, hindi ka natataranta, no? You're more composed. Pag uh, galit na si misis, no? Mm-hmm. So it really, that, that, that really steps, uh, or that really helps your uh, your your personal growth. Minsan nakakapag nagco-coach ka na rin sa bahay. Oo, <laughs> tinuturuan mo na rin. Oo, oh, kahit yung aso pina personal coaching ko eh. Oh. <laughs> I told you not to uh, eat the sofa. <laughs> you know, that is an AFI, an area for improvement. No, we must retain value in our personal belongings. Okay, so aside from that team, yeah, tito, lumabas tuloy yung pag-abisaya ako na naman. <laughs> team, team tuloy. Team, basketball team. Okay, aside from that, Tim, uh, what what else uh, is keeping you there? The reason I ask, no? because 18 years is a long time. Oh, yeah. No? Uh, yung nga, yung the friendship that you've developed, yeah, uh, not just within the organization, but, you know, in the whole industry. Yes. Uh, lumalaki rin talaga eh. Oo. Oh. Um, and you you learn you yes. not stop learning as even if you spent 18 years I like 20 that. years Uh-oh. continuous the learning is never ending yes Uh-oh. so yes. malaking bagay rin siya for me um, and especially if you know 
being in the industry, it also helped you to uh, travel. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Either for business or for pleasure. Mm -hmm. It expands your horizon. It expands your knowledge with, you know, the people outside of the Philippines na naiintindihan mo na, okay, ganito pa rin pumumuhay din sa ibang bansa. Um, yeah. You know, working in the industry enabled me to, you know, bring my family also abroad, have them experience, um, in a way, some luxury of life that, you know, the call center have actually provided for you and your yes. family. So there's the compensation. So if if we were to recap, yung mga things that has kept him in the in the call center industry or the BPO industry, there's the competitive compensation, there's the personal growth, there's the professional growth, mm -hmm. and definitely the travel. No, that's a big plus. Yeah, those are you know I guess mga benefits na rin. Benefits na. The benefits no? in the call center industry is ano rin, really top notch. Uh, you have good health. You know benefits. Yeah, de ba na pagkaka ma 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 compare tayo di siya, but sige go ahead. Ma compare. Okay, but go ahead, go ahead. Lumi pa tayo Lester sa amin. Oh nga, jaga lang Lester. Pang ilan na to? Pang umaga naman tayo pang regular hours naman. Yeah, pang regular hours tama, tama. Pede ko siya ipost niya. Australian me, Australian campaigns kami pang umaga. Wag na lang, wag na lang. Wag wag magagi magisa ako dito. Pero you're saying the benefits? The benefits, health benefits is really good mm -hmm. um, you know as soon as you start you get your health benefit and even your dependents are also part of that benefit okay. um, you also have you know um, incentives okay based on how good you perform on certain you know months okay you get incentivized or you, you've been given you know some monetary rewards okay um, to complement you know, the good work that you've done for the organization. So, may um, dental ba? Meron din dental. Meron din dental. Mm -hmm. Wow. Completo. So, completo, no? So, okay. Again, so there's the the uh, uh, the competitive compensation, professional growth, personal growth, uh, travel. Uh, you have health, uh, what do you call it? Uh, healthcare benefits? Oh, yeah. Or in the industry, it's HMO. HMO. Uh, Social talaga na, ano? Social talaga na call center, HMO, ha? Arang sa CNN ko lang naririnig yan, eh. <laughs> Pero, okay, so you have HMO. So those things can really uh, help you stay and really encourage you to have a career in that industry. Mm -hmm. But here's my question. What's one thing that will make you leave? Uh, ano ba? I guess, as I age... Yes, <laughs> which we all do. And then, Chepe, health will be, you know, something really important for everybody. Yeah. Um, you know, in mean sense as a being, say, you need to get enough rest, oh. uh, sleep during the normal hours of the day. Yeah. Because it's better than yung tulog talaga sa gabi versus iba. the tulog sa umaga. Iba, iba. So yun. Um, so it's, it's and I hope you know hindi umabot sa panahon na <laughs> nagano yeah. no. So it's really more for uh, uh, for health. Uh, if there was one thing that would make you decide, maybe it's time to move on. It's really health concerns. Mm -mm. Uh, just to let everyone know, I, I, I don't know if things have changed. Ah, hindi pa rin. Hindi pa rin. <laughs> si Tim. Tim does not smoke. He does not drink. Mm. Ever since I knew him, kahit nung bata pa si Tim, <laughs> uh, there were times na, of course, we were young, we'd go out drinking, um, we would offer, Tim, inom ka naman. No amount of peer pressure. No amount of peer pressure will let uh, will will that you'll see them smoke <laughs> or drink. Galing kaya friends kami. Kaya long time friends kami. Oh, ano ba yun? Birds of a feather. Ano yon? Pakiya sabi nga yon, Lester. Ano yon? Hindi ko alala. Alabin mo. Alabin mo na. Flux together. Ano yon? Hindi ko alala. Tim. Ang call center agents ba? Do they need to know English id? Yan, tanga yung pagkabisaya ako na naman. Do they need to know English idioms? Well, in the industry, marami ng different classes. Oh. Um, there's, you know, communication classes uh, uh -oh. that the company would always develop. Yes. Because, uh, you know, everybody needs learning regardless if it's uh, English or uh, regardless if it's communication learning, <laughs> leadership training. Um, problem solving, time management, mga yeah. iba-iba yung mga different modules na nakikreate na rin eh. 
uh, uh, it, it's uh, one way that or, an organization would help develop a certain mm -hmm. individual to actually reach another level in the call center industry. Uh, Parang if you're an aspiring team leader, so oh, oh. enroll ka na to different you know, sessions, leadership training, uh, coaching 101, time management, Killing organizational them. thoughts. Oh, 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 and what's the last one? Or organizational you know, structure, thoughts, email writing, business writing. Ang ganda niyan, eh. Ang ganda niyan. Someone my age. Sasabihin ko, sasabihin ko na nga. Someone my age. Someone in their 40s. Do I still have, if I decide to go back to the call center? Alam mo, kasi pag startup, kailangan may iba ka rin kita, eh. Oo. Oh, <laughs> sa, sa, sa age Hiring ko. Hiring kami ngayon. Pwede pa pa. <laughs> <laughs> sa, sa age ko. If I decide. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in my early 40s. Uh, sa age ko, I decide to apply again. Do I have a future ba dyan sa, sa call center? Yeah, pa rin. And, you know, the oldest or, you know, the senior, the most senior person that I've met was around 65 years old. Oh. So, pero ano yun? May, may, career, may career growth pa ba siya? Oh. Uh, yung, when I last spoke to the person, it's more of parang ano lang niya, pampalipas oras din niya. Uh, uh, some people would still want to do something, especially at that age, ayaw lang nila na sa bahay lang. Okay. So they would want to go, you know, dress up, go to work, keep their mind moving, you know, keep their uh, body moving. Okay, so here's another question. Let's say you have a business and you also want to work. Possible ba na you, you, can you do that? Work and work in the call center and uh, have a business? Is that a realistic scenario? Parang hindi talaga interesado eh, no? Siguro kung yung business mo is, you know, steady na. Yung okay. You won't have to really you know, spend a lot of time in setting it up, uh -oh. making sure, you know, it gets, it runs smoothly. Kaya, uh -oh. kaya mo i-handle yun. Because, of course, sa call center, we demand, you know, nine hours of your work hours. And uh -oh. then, how much time more would you need to take care of your business and at the same time, go to sleep? Go to sleep, rest. take care of the baby. Yeah. Meron pa akong walk the dogs, no? <laughs> Talaga, that's, if, if you want to be fit, you go to the gym. Okay. Well, Maganda lang matulog. No? <laughs> Mortality takes up too much time. Eh. Eating, going to sleep, going to the bathroom. Yes. Sayang ang oras eh. Oh, may, mag apply ka ba sa call center? Ako uh, maganda yung compensation. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, okay. Since he brought it up, if someone was going to start tomorrow or na nakapasa sa interview, nakapasa sa test, ano ba ang starting compensation? for someone who will be uh, in operations. Uh, yung operations po kasi, uh, you can be put in different departments in the call center. Meron quality control, pareho pa ba? Merong yeah, HR. May, man, no, no, sila. Okay. may uh, HR, tapos nun may training. Sa operations, doon kayo talaga. Sasagot ng, uh, you'll answer phone calls or you'll make phone calls. Yeah. So what is the start? Tiyatanong po nitong kasama ko. Pag ito yes. nag-resign bukas. <laughs> Nasa, nakitim na ako. <laughs> nakitim na siya. <laughs> ano ba ang, what would people look at? Ano yeah. ba starting compensation? Well, uh, for... For new hires or for fresh grads, usually for a customer care campaign, we usually you know provide around fifteen to twenty thousand as a basic salary. Okay, um, not for, bad. For technical support campaigns, we provide twenty-seven to around thirty-five thousand. Technical support. So what's that? IT. IT support. Yeah. Uh, I naalala ko nung time natin. Ang talaga malalakas kumita dyan, yung mga bilingual. Is it still the same? Oh, nandiyan pa rin. Uh, oh. People who are fluent in a different dialect, oh. uh, they earn, they still earn language allowances. Ba't ako tiyan, mababa na sweldo ko? Marunong naman ako mag-Tagalog. <laughs> Marunong ako mag-English. <laughs> yeah. by, by definition, bilingual ako eh. <laughs> yes. Di ba? Pero actually, hinahanap nyo is either English or Spanish. Hmm. Or tama Spanish, ba? Spanish, French. We, oui. oh, si, oui. si, yeah. oh, oh. Si, si. Uh, so, they, they, we still have campaigns that, oh. will, you know, uh, provide that su support for different dialects or different regions. Kaya kahit meron pa rin nap for, you know, for that role. 
So how much? How much on difference? You were saying fifteen to twenty thousand for someone who's going uh, to operations. Mm-hmm. Pero for someone who would be going, uh, who will start working, pero uh, is uh, bilingual by your definition. How mm-hmm. much usually on difference again? Ah, uh, depende yun sa language. You know, if you're you know good in Nihongo, Chinese, or in French, it depends on the language. Means and you should pagka mahirap hanapin yung ganitong dialect na to mas mataas yung language uh, uh, allowance nila. Okay. So, Tim, as you were saying, those are the things that you like, no? Uh, that made you stay in, in the call center industry and you also gave the one reason why you would leave. Technically, it's just uh, health health uh, health concerns. Mm-hmm. Uh, ano pa ba, ba yung maganda sa call center? Parang balita ako magaganda yung mga amenities dyan, eh. May, may mga pantry daw dyan. Balita ako pa, may free coke. <laughs> oh, f- bottomless iced tea. Meron, Minsan, oh. pag-birthday mo, may cake daw. Sa Teddy Sage din may cook ka. Ang dami. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Pero ano yun, pang sales event yun. Ha? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wala pang sales event. <laughs> may expert. Wala. Inumin na natin. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, daming cook dyan. So anyway, Tim, ano ba yung mga amenities yeah. sa, ano, sa call center? Uh, so, since gabi nga ang trabaho sa call center, no. some of the call center have started putting up their own gym. Wow. Free yan, eh? Free. Oh, free free, free usage. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you have your own gym. May mga playrooms din to unwind. Uh, playrooms? What do you mean playrooms? Parang na-imagine ko parang for kids. Ah, no, no. So there's like a, a PlayStation room, a uh, karaoke room. Mm-mm. Minsan may, there's a billiard table also right in the middle of the pantry or a ping pong table. Uh, you know, just to help the, you know, the employees unwind. And okay. you know, distress. One Apart di- from you know people who would go down and smoke, oh, oh. at least merong iba na sa Tam- hindi smokers. Tama, you know, tama you know. yun. At least a positive outlet naman, mm-hmm. no? For for the the people na wala naman masadong vices, that's that's a very good outlet. Yeah. One one day, one day, baka maging ganyan din kami. Magkaroon yes. kami ng ganyan. Oh. No? So, relaxing naman dito sa yung ano ninyo eh. Oh, studio oh, ninyo. Oh, oh, very relaxing naman dito. So there's a lot of things really that people can uh, look forward to if they do decide to uh, go into the call center. No? Yeah. Not just ang pinaka-importante is the competitive compensation. Right? And then aside from that, everything just falls into place. Yeah. Right? Okay, so is there anything uh, else you'd like to add uh, regarding the the business uh, process outsourcing? Tama ba business process outsourcing? Uh-huh. Uh, or also known as the call center industry? Uh, sa mga millennials and Gen Z dyan, uh, on the fence, should I apply or should I not apply? Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, um, it's a growing industry. You know, non-stop pa rin ang ang hiring you still see you still see a lot of call centers you know booming mm-hmm. uh, we've started expanding um, or the industry in the provinces oh um, meron nga sa Baguio eh Manila. oh meron nga sa Baguio oh so marami rin talaga nag outsource and you can't stop you know these companies in the US to start you know outsourcing their work because to your point a while ago this is where you know labor comes cheaper uh, yes. infrastructure is cheaper so revenue wise you know if you're you have a business it's best to put it up you know either in the philippines india or even china okay one question diba there was a time na number one tayo sa business process outsourcing mm-hmm. uh, number two lang ang india or is it still the same that we're still number one Actually, I'm not entirely sure kung Uh-oh. sino yung number one and how do they get those facts and Uh-oh. what are the things that they consider to be number one. Uh-huh. Uh, for for me, ang tinitignan ko lang is, you know, you know it's uh, the company is still growing. Uh-oh. It still see a positive uptrend in terms of the number of clients signing in, mm-hmm. um, you know, the number of programs ramping up. Uh, Doon ko nangigita na, you know, it's still grow- growing. Non-stop uh-huh. pa rin. Okay. So if you're, you know, a new hire, if you're a fresh grad, you want, you're in that on the fence. If you wanted to join the industry or not, Mm-mm. I suggest it's a good and stable industry. 
Yes. Um, you know, you'd have a lot of benefits. You'd gain more friends. Mm. We're ba- you're basically working in the same age group, almost the same age group. Uh, yes. To most individuals. Ano gusto ko na magapply yah? Pero sige pa katuloy lang. Ayun nga. The the training never stops. And then yung supportive culture, the cu- the culture that you know takes care of the employees. Uh. Um, the different employee engagement. You know, different. Company events from annual parties to CSR activities. Uh, Nandun lahat eh. So, okay. if you want to really, you know, look for an industry that has a good competitive pay, you know, I would invite everybody to join uh, the BPO industry. Okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, as, as someone who also employs uh, the young ones, there's one aspect that I noticed, one, one component that the young ones look for uh, when starting a job that I never took into consideration. It, the, one of the intangibles na hinahanap talaga nila is, is there a possibility no, that I might find someone there? Is there a possibility <laughs> na mahanap ko ba yung boyfriend or girlfriend ko uh, uh, So... In 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 that aspect, is it a, a, a wide demographic na nagtatrabaho sa sa call center? Well, I'm a product of one. Doon ko nakilala yung asawa ko eh. Okay, so ayan, ayan. No? That's one of the uh, the true-to-life stories. No? Oh, yes. na you know my next segment natin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, from office romance to now uh, a full-blown marriage, happy marriage. Mm. So, the, the, the demographic is very wide. No? Yeah, And marami ka talaga makikilala. Mm-hmm. Talaga magre-resign na to si Lester Bukas eh. Okay. Konti <laughs> lang ba nakakausap ni Lester dito? Marami kami, no? Actually, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sobra dami namin dito sa office, no? Ha, baka matalo namin ang, ano, ang, ang uh, payroll list nyo. <laughs> Sobra dami. Talaga. Sobra dami namin dito. Talaga napupuno na kami. Naghahanap na nga kami ng warehouse yes. para sa susunod na opisina. So, yes. Uh, so that's 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 the thing, no? At least, napaka-attractive ng, mm-hmm. ng uh, call center industry. Mm-hmm. For the millennials and the Gen Z people who are wondering, should they, uh, is this something that they should try? I think the answer is a resounding and reverber- reverberating yes. Mm-hmm. No? Yeah. Talagang, uh, this is something that will really uh, help you. If, if uh, you were to ask me... Uh, sa call center one thing that I uh, that I really cherish no is the leadership training that we got from there mm-hmm. uh, I was never a team lead I was never I was always part of the the, the operational group you want some answer god but from what I observed at that time I didn't realize that I will uh, all those skills that I observed that people were doing at that time eventually ako din pala mag apply So that's one thing that the leadership training in the call center is amazing. So if there's one thing that I would like to thank the call center industry for, pa grabe, no? uh, that's that's the uh, the the training that I got on how to handle people. Iba, eh. iba talaga, no? So just to close, Tim. May tanong ka pa ba, Street? Ano ba siya? Yung call center more on voice, ano siya or may non voice? It's a good question, no? Kasi nung time ko, phone lang, eh. Oh. Ngayon, may FaceTime na pala. Pero na rin FaceTime. <laughs> Oo. Oh, di ba, kita ka ba or hindi? Kasi <laughs> nagbabasa oh, ako ng kodigo nun, eh. Oo. Oh, oh, paano kasi, ako meron ganun na FaceTime? <laughs> oh, kasi may spill, eh. Di ba? May spill. <laughs> di ba? You, you know what to answer. Yeah. So But ngayon, on that question, may ano? Voice and not, may, there's a voice component and non-voice. Yun nga yung mga back office work. Either, ah, you know, um, you just encode data into a system. Uh, to, you know, kung non-voice is either chat or email. Meron. Mm. May live interaction, pero on a non-voice capacity. And meron din yung mga data encoders, medical transcriptionists. Yeah, that's yeah. that's big money, medical transcription, di ba? Okay, okay. Huwag kang mag-a-apply, bawal. <laughs> <laughs> bawal ka mag-a-apply. Bawal ka mag-a-apply. Bawal ka mag-a-apply. Anyway, Tim, that was very But informative. And and also, it opened the eyes of uh, not only Lester, not only uh, me, but also for the uh, the subscribers, the memory keepers, na at least now we know more 
about the call center industry. Well, I'm glad to impart that knowledge. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get to see more millennials join that industry. Oh, is, if, do you have, uh, if there are millennials, and uh, alam mo yung mga, mga millennials, kagaya ko, yes. uh, mga Gen Z, no? uh, if they want to follow you, if they want to check <laughs> uh, out your profile, your office, yeah. uh, is there any social media platforms that they can check? Uh, yeah, I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, usually I post uh, our hiring requirements in LinkedIn. Oh, um, but very professional, yeah. Yung meron ka bang aside from LinkedIn? Ah, social media, mm. my own personal account. Pero pwede ba nila silipin? Pwede ka ba i-stalk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, pwede naman. Oh, pwede, pwede, ba? pwede naman. Oh. Yeah. Uh, they, they could just look for Tim Lemuanco in Facebook oh. or in Instagram. Instagram, yeah. Tim Lemuanco. Mm-mm. Okay. Are you sure it's okay? To, yeah. uh, no. Okay, so if, okay. If a flash they can ask jam. questions there, you know, anything. Ah, so they can ask you. They yeah. can ask you questions. Oh, pwede rin naman. Okay. Pwede bang mag-apply? Ganon. Oh, oh, usually, you know, I would answer um, either there's a Facebook mm-hmm. groups. Uh, there's different, you know, forums or groups also in Facebook. Like, I'm part of, let's say, Call Center Planet. Um you know, IT service help desk, meron din. So, okay, I like that. Call center planet and? Um, yung mga different groups. Well, let's say I'm currently part of an IT campaign. Mm-mm. So I join um, a group in Facebook wherein, you know, mga members doon would be IT practitioners who's looking for, you know, jobs or who's posting for, you know, job opportunities in the IT segment or IT sector. Okay. Pero if someone wants to join a, uh, meron bang just a general group? Kasi parang merong Filipino animators. Mm. Uh, meron bang call center or or agents group na chat group sa Facebook? Uh, I'm sure marami. Hindi marami. ko na lahat kabisado. Uh, okay. So meron <laughs> talaga. Meron so din. that's one way that they can get an idea. Mm. They can also join the chat groups. Pero kung, kung ako sa inyo, isearch nyo na lang si Tim Lemuanco. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Mas masasagot pa yung tanong nyo. Diretso. Okay. Diba? Okay. Ako na. Oh, oh. okay, Tim. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you for welcome. coming. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for inviting for, me. Yes, nako. We'd love to have you again. We'd love to have you again. And uh, I'm sure there will be a lot of questions. And once we get those questions, uh, we'll definitely give you a call. And I hope you can come for a second time. Oh, for sure. Okay. Anything. Okay. Anything for you, Pao. Dako, thank you. Thank you, Tim. Okay. All right. Thank uh, you. Let's uh, 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 recruitment hub. <laughs> yes, for sure. Bawal ka tumayo dyan. Bawal ka tatayo dyan. Okay. Sige, so uh, coming from uh, the uh, Spill the Beans studio, and uh, from Teddy Sage, we'd like to say thank you, or we'll just wave goodbye to everyone. Thank you, Bye-bye. goodbye, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you. Bye. I am what I am today, cause I did it my way, none yo.